Hey, what's up? This is Ben from Wad Prep, and today we're gonna talk about how to do kipping bar muscle ups step by step. So if you're interested in learning bar muscle ups, getting your first rep, or finally learning how to string multiple reps together, then all you need to do is go to wadprep.com slash bar muscle up, or you can simply type in wadprep.com slash BMU, and you'll be taken to a page where you can download a free muscle up training guide. So go there, check that out, and I'm gonna help you learn bar muscle ups as quickly as possible. But first, let's talk about how to learn bar muscle ups step by step. So step number one is that we need to get in a solid hollow body position. So just like any kipping pull up or butterfly pull up, we jump onto the bar and establish a hollow body position. Now one thing I want to note is that I found it's slightly easier to do bar muscle ups with a just barely narrower grip. So instead of having your normal pull up grip, just scoot in those hands a couple inches or maybe an inch on each side and you might find that doing bar muscle ups is just a little bit easier. Step number two is we need to get into our arch position. So I call it the extended position or some people call it the arch position. But basically all I need to do is get into that extended position with my feet together and everything else stays tight. So a common misconception is that you need to flick your legs around like a crazy wild man in order to get a bar muscle up and it's just not true. Instead we want to keep our feet together, our core tight, our quads are tight, our shoulders are open but still solid. The last thing we want to do is get into what I call the scorpion position which means my feet are flailing around, they might be separate, my shoulders are loose, I get into a hyperextended lower back situation, we don't want any of that. So, again, get into a solid extended or a solid arch position. Step number three is from that extended position, I scoop my legs through and start to lever myself back. So when I say lever or lever, depending on how you pronounce it, I'm talking about closing the angle from my arm to my torso. So it looks like this, I'm pulling the bar down, allowing my shoulders to come back. When I do that, that starts to elevate my body. When I elevate my body, it's time to move on to the next step. Step number four, the big hip pop. So as I lever myself back, my knees, my legs are slowly lifting in the air, and that allows me to get an aggressive hip pop, which will accelerate my body up and over the bar. Now, if you're a true gymnast, if you have a perfect kip and you have gym, gymnastics level abilities, you might not need to have a very big hip pop. But for most of us, we're gonna need to have that little extra power, that little extra pop in order to accelerate us over top the bar. After that big hip pop, I'm actually pulling myself into the bar. It's almost simultaneous. So I pop my hips, I pull the bar into my hips. So I'm actively pulling with my hands and then as I start to accelerate up and over the bar, this is one of the most important parts. I must let my hands slide around the bar. So this is something that a lot of people don't do. Instead, they'll death grip the bar and they just kind of pull as hard as they possibly can. Well, if you don't allow your hands to slide around that bar, you're never gonna allow yourself to settle over top and then finish with the dip. So what happens is you'll see people chicken wing or you'll see them get to here and then they fall right back down. And that is a common problem because people are death gripping the bar instead of letting their hands slide around like you can see here in the slow motion video. So again, pull yourself into the bar and as you do that, relax your grip so that you can get your torso, your upper body, your wrists and your elbows all over top of that pull up bar. And then last thing I wanna mention is, is one cue that I use to help people get up and over the bar is something I like to call the fast sit up. So if I was wearing sunglasses, on my head or I had a hat on my head, I'm trying to think about doing a super fast sit up to throw that hat or throw those sunglasses off my head and over top of the bar. Uh, a big problem a lot of people have is they'll pull up, they'll even let their hands slide, but they, they keep their torso behind the bar. With a fast sit up, I'm engaging my core and I'm allowing, allowing my torso to pivot over top of that pull up bar. So put all of these things together and you will have a bar muscle up. It does take lots of practice if you can't do multiple kipping chest to bar, if you can't do multiple strict pull-ups, then bar muscle ups are not your thing yet. But if you think you're ready, make sure you go to wadprep.com slash BMU 
you can get a free bar muscle up training guide that's gonna take you step by step, even more in depth than this video, and it's gonna help you get above that pull up bar. Last thing, thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't, make sure you click here to subscribe and never miss another wad front video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this video, or if you have any suggestions for future videos, I'll make sure to read every comment, and if I think you have a great idea, I'll make a video based on what you suggest. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll be back next week.